Gandharan sculptures were among the first to portray Buddha in human form. We can see the classical Greco-Roman influence in the standing figure of Buddha made around 200 CE. His face closely resembles that of Apollo, and the naturalistic folds in his monk's robes recall classical togas. Another sculpture, Head of the Buddha, might be compared with Marble Head of Athena, carved in ancient Greece around 200 BC. Both sculptures present highly stylized, symmetrical facial features and intricately woven hair. The striking shadows cast by his eyebrows create two distinct curves, which clearly highlights the urna placed in the middle of his forehead, a signifier of his ability to see the divine world. Similarly, the intricate waves of his hair, which would have been carved by hand, lead the eye upwards to his Ushnisha, or top knot, a reminder of his warrior origins.